Hello guys, this video will be the final video in our mini-series talking about Laravel Pulse. I want to wrap it up, finish it with discussing the live wire structure of that Pulse. How does it work? What are the components? So you would be able to learn from that how to structure your live wire projects if you want a similar structure. This is, as always, for structure in Laravel, one of the possible options. So this is how Laravel Pulse dashboard looks in action. We installed it on our filamentexamples.com. The project isn't active much. It's just a showcase of projects. So we don't have queues or slow queries. So not much to see here except for a few widgets. But you get the idea that it's a dashboard with various widgets that show data. Those widgets are called cards. So these are the default cards from Pulse and you can create your own if you want to. Now, how does it work under the hood structurally? Laravel Pulse is a package installed into Laravel project, which means it has service provider as a package and register the routes inside of that service provider, which in this case is just one route slash Pulse, which returns the view Pulse dashboard. So this is where we need to start our journey of tracing what is loaded where we need to find pulse dashboard blade and this is how it looks views dashboard it's x pulse and we will get to that and then a lot of live wire components so there's a component pulse servers pulse usage pulse queues and others and interestingly i will show you how they use abstract class to have the same parameters we will get to that in a minute Xpulse for now. Xpulse is a component for the layout of the whole Pulse dashboard, which includes all the HTML with header and footer and also loads CSS and JS in here. And inside the most interesting parts are slot. Well, this is the main part of actually this part of the cards, but also on top we have this menu, this logo. So this is accomplished with period selector and theme switcher on the right those are separate components this is a live wire component and this is a blade component again on the right here so i can choose six hours for example and it would refresh but now let's get back to those pulse servers and pulse other live wire components those are all in source live wire and we have different components like for example servers php we can take a look and this is the render so it gets the data from the database or from redis and then renders the view make pulse live wire servers in my case here i don't have multiple servers so it doesn't render it so instead let's take a look at usage at a real card that i do have so requests slow requests and others so again data from the database and view make live wire usage so this is as i understand this card and the interesting part is the structure. So every LiveWire component for the card extends card, which is inside of the same folder. So there's general source LiveWire card PHP, which is a LiveWire component, extends LiveWire component, and this is an abstract class. It's almost like an interface with the rules, but it may have properties and more functionality. So it has properties like columns and rows, with potential values i love that comment and a few more methods and placeholder is probably one of the most important methods because it renders the placeholder of columns and rows and that's how you can make it flexible in the main dashboard columns and rows you can specify different values to make it all fit into the dashboard but using the same design the same css and then all the other live wire components extend that card so for example let's take a look at cache cache extends card and it has render method as it is live wire component with the data from the database and it shows live wire cache blade if we take a look at that live wire cache blade resources views live wire cache blade it extends x pulse card blade component as well so there's a structure for card header for icon actions and more structure in terms of blade components let's take a look at that for a minute so there's resources, views, components, and we have card, card header, and others that you have seen just a few moments ago. So this is what I wanted to talk about, the structure of this dashboard with Livewire. So there's one blade file for the dashboard, one layout for the header, and then inside of that dashboard, we have 
the list of live wire components, each of them extends the same card and each of them uses blade component of X pulse card with parameters of columns and rows and with some of the slots different. So for example, here you have filter, here you have other filters and stuff like that, which in general is two in one flexibility, but at the same time, the same design and styling. And since it's live wire, you can refresh the data individually based on live wire events like wire poll, wire submit and others. What do you think about this structure? Would you have done something differently or maybe I missed something interesting in the Laravel Pulse code? Let's discuss in the comments below. So for now, we're finishing this series about Laravel Pulse. Maybe in the future, I will shoot more videos about how to create a card or different examples of already open sourced cards. We'll see about that. But that's it for now and see you guys in other videos.